be looking to end this one as fast as he can, Cole. The longer this match goes, the more chance of injury. And the last thing he wants to do is relinquish his championship due to an injury he sustained in a non-title match. A man of this size should not be able to move the way that Lee does. And his opponent from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 320 pounds, Limitless King Lee. I spoke with Keith Lee earlier today, and I just had to ask him, what exactly does it mean to be limitless? I mean, take one look at the guy when he hits the ring, and then fast forward to him inside the ring. Six foot two, 320 pounds, hits like a freight train, moves like a member of the 205 Live roster. I believe that's exactly what being limitless is all about. I would not want to be on the other side of the ring with Tommaso Ciampa, though I wouldn't want him on my side either. Saxton, will you stop? Ciampa did what he needed to do in order to get ahead in this industry. I may not like him, but I say bravo. You would. Oh, what? And Tommaso Ciampa slips out of harm's way. And the referee starts his 10 count. One. Two. Harsh mm. impact. Three. Just sending a message there. He continues to press forward. We'll see how long he can sustain this attack. Back now inside the ring. Five. Six. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Elbow smash! That'll hurt DDT! He's taking some good hits. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. Close line over the top row. All the way to the floor. Just look at limitless Keith Lee. He moves like a man half his size, but still has the big man power on top of it. You might think you've seen everything in sports entertainment, but you haven't until you've seen Keith Lee in action. He is truly one of a kind, and you won't even know what one of a kind truly means until you see him in action. Keith Lee calls himself an event. He's known for his feats of strength and unbelievable athleticism. And you can imagine we'll see plenty of both during this match. Trying to avoid being steamrolled by Keith Lee is like trying to avoid being run over by an 18-wheeler. Extremely difficult, but not impossible. If you can keep the match going longer and evade him in the process, Lee will get tired. Eventually, I think. That is a great reversal. Saxton, you're always on your high horse whenever you feel like superstars have too much self-confidence for your liking. But here comes someone like Keith Lee, who literally tells everyone to bask in his glory. And you're his biggest cheerleader. It's not that I have a problem with confident superstars, Corey. I All the way for the top. 
Larry, he's getting a little batter now. He planned for this and can still rally. Ooh, just relentless. Stomping. Ouch. And here we go. Tommaso Ciampa with the cover. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. He isn't going to go away that easy. He's actually taken to calling himself the greatest sports entertainer of all time. And what evidence do you have to the contrary? Because the case for that name includes an NXT Tag Team title, an NXT Championship that he never lost, and, oh yeah, countless Match of the Year candidates. A ah, slap. Looks like... Jamba looking for the takedown. There it is. Bridging Fujiwara. Gotta hurt. The arm might snap here. Fighting for survival. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. He is just reeling from that offense. A change of strategy has to be his next move. Here comes Champa. Double underhook applied. Up and face buster. Ref get ready to raise his hand. The win is at the fingertips of Tommaso Champa wins. Tommaso Champa wins. The champion, and he's been a proud champion as well. Soaking it in. Him in the from top the, uh, one luck. percent. Yeah, they want his championship. When you're the champion, there's always a target on your back. He wants that title all right. 